without this program, Power Soccer in general. I don't think I would have been very social, very like outgoing, and actually, you know, very like a strategic thinker, you know, from this program. I think I learned a lot, not just from the game standpoint, but uh, from a standpoint which I can apply to my own lives and that everyone um, can take away from this program in their own ways they learn individually throughout our soccer. Especially for me, one of the great takeaways was just to mentor mentoring the younger the younger players such as like the rowdies, the gophers, and mentoring my younger teammates. Um, I think that's a great aspect of Courage County as a whole and overall it was a fantastic experience. I love Courage Kenny Sports and Rec because of all the sports that my daughter gets to play. She loves being part of a team and competing. She loves being able to be with her friends and have a good time. I love Courage Kenny because I get to play basketball, softball, swimming, tennis, skiing, and horseback riding. Two things I like about track and field are that we get to do things like junior nationals and have a big cheering crowds. I also appreciate all the work the coaches do to put on this program. Courage Kenny Sports and Rec is important to me because it allows me to work on my rehabilitation while doing something I love, like archery, biking, and downhill skiing. spending my winters with Courage Kenny. I couldn't imagine spending it in any other place or with any other people. The community is second to none. I love all of the volunteer instructors, the participants, and the Courage Kenny staff. They're just the greatest bunch.
We get stronger. Thank you for your encouragement. Support us at the Celebration of Courage on June 25th. I love Courage Candy because I learned how to downhill ski and play wheelchair basketball. I think without this program, power soccer in general, I don't think I would have been very social, very like outgoing, and actually, you know, very like a strategic thinker, you know. From this program, I think I learned a lot, not just from the game standpoint, but uh, from a standpoint which I can apply to my own lives, and that everyone um, can take away from this program in their own ways they learned individually throughout power soccer. Especially for me, one of the great takeaways was just to mentor, mentoring the younger, the younger players, such as like the Rowdies, the Gophers, and mentoring my younger teammates. Um, I think that's a great aspect of Courage County as a whole, and overall, it was a fantastic experience. skiing because it's fun and makes me feel happy. Join me in tuning into the celebration of Courage on June 25th. Let's celebrate Courage Kenny together. I love Courage Kenny Sports and Rec because of all the sports that my daughter gets to play. She loves being part of a team and competing. She loves being able to be with her friends and have a good time. I love Courage Kenny because I get to play basketball, softball, swimming, tennis, skiing, and horseback riding. Two things I like about track and field are that we get to do things like junior nationals and have a big cheering crowds. I also appreciate all the work the coaches do to put on this program. Courage Kenny Sports and Rec is important to me because it allows me to work on my rehabilitation while doing something I love, like archery, biking, and downhill skiing. I 
love spending my winters with Courage Kenny. I couldn't imagine spending it in any other place or with any other people. The community is second to none. I love all of the volunteer instructors, the participants, and the Courage Kenny staff. They're just the greatest bunch. We get stronger. Thank you for your encouragement. Support us at the celebration of Courage on June 25th. I love Courage Canyon because I learned how to downhill ski and play wheelchair basketball. What is Courage, Kenny? A rehab therapy facility. But to us, it's much more. A place where we grow. We build our self-esteem. We get stronger. And we meet others with similar challenges. I guess you could say it's more than just a rehab facility to us. Thank you for your encouragement. To keep us in the future encouraged. Let's celebrate Courage Kenny together. On June 25th. Hi, I'm Penny Wheeler. I'm lucky enough to be the president and CEO of Alina Health. And I wanted to thank you so much for joining us on this celebration of courage. Uh, the Courage Kenny facilities and all that they do for so many lives uh, mean so much to our mission of caring. We certainly wish we could be there uh, physically together, but uh, this is a celebration nonetheless, uh, and no pandemic of any sort is going to uh, stop us from having and celebrating some of the best of us and what we do. And I'd say some of the best of what we do is the uh, adaptive sports and recreation um, of Courage Kenny. I've seen it uh, in uh, swimming competitions. I've seen wheelchair basketball tournaments. I've seen my father um, who through the Adaptive Fitness Center learned to take his first steps after having a stroke. Um, these programs mean the world. Um, to everybody. There's one woman I recall years ago who told me that uh, the adaptive sports and recreation activities through Courage Kenny gave her her life back. That's how much they mean to people. I wanna thank uh, our sports and recreation um, employees who really keep uh, participants of all ages connected um, and uh, joyful during the most challenging times uh, of their life. Um, and so they, they do wonderful, wonderful work. Today we look forward to sharing more of those um, great stories of the wonderful work that the uh, sports and recreation program does and, and the lives that are affected uh, by it. Um, I can't say enough for the individuals who serve um, our um, clients. Uh, they do wonderful and compassionate work and make such a difference. I can't say enough for all of you who are here supporting these efforts. Uh, you make a difference in hundreds of lives by doing so. So thank you to Courage Kenny for being part of the Alina Health family. You make us better. And uh, by the way, you make lives better. We hope you have fun with this uh, event. We know you will, and we know it'll be inspiring as well. Um, we hope also and I can't help but say that we hope that you give as generously as possible 
and to know that those funds will be used to change lives and, uh, as the woman told me, give people their lives back um, through your generosity. So thank you for that. With that, I'm going to turn it to Megan Welty, the manager of Courage Kenny's uh, Sports and Recreation Department. Thank you, Dr. Wheeler, and thank you so much for joining us for the seventh annual Celebration of Courage event. Up until this year, this event has always taken place at Target Field. While we miss not being able to be in person today, we are so glad to be together virtually to celebrate and support healthy lifestyle activities and sports for athletes with disabilities. Even though we can't see you today, you can still participate with us and other guests using the chat feature. Summer is definitely different this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but our commitment to the athletes remains the same. Our goal is to keep our community active, connected, and having fun by providing engaging fitness, recreational, and social virtual activities. Celebration of Courage is our largest fundraising event of the year. The activities our athletes participate in rely almost exclusively on the generosity of our community. These programs would not exist without the support of our donors. You can donate at any point during the program. One way to donate is to text to give option. Type give to courage in your text message. Then send the text to the number 41444. You will automatically receive a text message with the link to donate. You can also make your gift by clicking the donate button located on the Celebration of Courage event website. Now, I am thrilled to introduce our MC, Courtney Godfrey, who is a reporter of Fox 9. She's a great advocate for adaptive sports and recreation. Thanks for joining us, Courtney. Megan, thank you so much for those kind words. I'm absolutely flattered and I'm excited to be here. Courage Kenny has been a leader in adaptive sports and recreation for more than 50 years. In a typical year, over 600 individuals with disabilities participate in more than 25 sports and recreation programs, and more than 1,100 individuals take part in tournaments, clinics, camps, and expos offered throughout the year. I want to take a moment to thank this year's Celebration of Courage sponsors. We're grateful to the Minnesota Twins Baseball Club for their leadership and generosity as our gold sponsor. The Twins and Courage Kenny have been partnering for 53 years. And later in our program, we'll hear from Twins President Dave St. Peter. Thank you to our silver sponsors, Apple Automatic and Thomson Reuters. We also appreciate the support of our bronze sponsors, Atlas Staffing, Bituminous Roadways, and Moss and & Barnett. And thank you to our supporting sponsors, Coloplast, Rogers Lions Club, and Rotary Club of Plymouth. The physical and mental health benefits of participating in sports and recreation activities are many, and they are significant. My first exposure to Courage Kenny was during a story I did for Fox 9 when I interviewed an adaptive athlete who was swimming again for the very first time thanks to a special prosthetic gifted to him through Courage Kenny. Since becoming an amputee myself, I've had the opportunity to participate in several Courage events, including ski racing. It was through our shared love of snowboarding that I first met Macy Collins. Despite everything she's been through, Macy has an infectious spirit and never lets her amputation get in the way of living her life. I am so honored to introduce my friend, Macy. Macy, thank you so much for being here today. It is so great to see you, as always. Why don't you just tell of our guests here today a little bit about yourself? Hello, I'm Macy. I'm 13 from Apple Valley, and I'm an adaptive athlete. You sure are. I think you do every sport known to man, it feels like. You and I have known each other for a few years, pretty much since I became an amputee over two years ago. How long have you been involved with Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports and Rec? And how did you get connected to the program? I was first connected with Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports seven years ago um, at the hospital. I get surgeries. It was their child life team that thought it would be a great opportunity to try or even just visit one of the Courage Kenny Sports camps. And I was out at my first sports camp about one month post amputation and using the adaptive equipment and I had a lot of fun using like the adaptive wheelchairs and stuff. And that's amazing. One month. I mean, you're still in a lot of pain after one month. So that's amazing, Macy. No surprise. Um, which Courage Kenny activities have you participated in so far? I first participated in the sports camp. That gave me the opportunity to try different sports and adaptive equipment. I've now been in the Courage Kenny Ski and Snowboard program for five years. And I snowboard and it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm also on the adaptive track and field team, the Blizzards, 
And this is my second year. I run short distances and do field events, and it's a lot of fun, and we have great coaches. Yeah, you're going to be beating me down the mountain pretty soon here, I think. Which sport or recreational activity is your favorite? I think I know the answer, but but tell our audience what your favorite is. Um, I'd say this year's snowboarding, I made some real growth and accomplished goals, which is a real confidence boost, and the program is a lot of fun. And track is still new, and I'm still learning. I don't know if I would get in track like I did if it weren't for Coach Adam at Curtis Kenny. He has been relatable, patient, he works me hard, and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, he definitely works us both hard. Adam is a true athlete. Now, what athletic accomplishment is it that you are most proud of, would you say? I would say my growth in snowboarding this year was great, and I gained confidence in turns and how to do my board. And in track and field, I was so proud that I qualified for junior nationals. And then at the Junior Nationals meet, I made a couple records. So. That is so awesome, Macy. You are so awesome. Okay, so during this time when we aren't able to do many of our typical in-person activities, which is really hard, I know, how are you staying connected with the Courage Kenny community? Right now, our team meets up and has weekly virtual practices live. It's a great way to stay connected and active. That's awesome. Speaking of these virtual workouts, Last week, I was invited to a virtual workout with Macy and her coach, Adam. Ooh, I think I got my butt kicked. Macy's in great shape, but let's take a look. You can be the judge. Out to the side, rotate up. Macy, you do this every week? Mm, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you're so buff. <laughs> Five seconds. All right. All right, that was a lot of fun and an excuse for me to get a workout in. Macy, is there anything else you'd like to share with everyone who tuned in today? I just want people to know having the opportunity to play adaptive sports is really a way to connect us all. Playing sports is a real source of support and encouragement and being confident. And thank you so much to everyone for your help in supporting these programs. I couldn't have said it better myself, Macy. Thank you. Thank you, Macy, for being a part of our program. It is so encouraging to see your smiling face. A reminder that any time during the program, you can make your donation. Your support today will help ensure our sports and rec activities can continue throughout the summer, months, and beyond. In late March, the sports and rec team pivoted to begin providing programs virtually. We surveyed our participants to determine what programming would be the most helpful. When asked, what are your biggest challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic, 68% of those responded said social interactions and 58% said physical fitness. So we quickly got to work to meet those needs. Our virtual activities have been well received and we continue to expand what's available to ensure there's something for everyone. In an attempt to provide social connectedness while respecting the financial challenges that many individuals and families are experiencing right now, we're offering all the virtual activities at no charge and it's because of supporters like you. Here's a glimpse at what our summer looks like this year. Our virtual activities include fitness classes, sports practices, social gatherings. One of our most popular activities has been virtual adaptive cycling. Since we started a few weeks ago, we even had over 30 people join us. We've recently added another cycling class because the activity has been such a hit. Some people use the class as motivation to get outside and ride. Some ride a stationary bike. Others are on hand cycles and trikes. We're e we were even able to get trainers donated from our community members to help people bike safely from their own homes. Other activities include trivia night, adaptive yoga, workouts for athletes, intro to adaptive gaming with CKRI's assistive technology team, and so many more. These activities are allowing us to connect with individuals daily and help them stay active during this challenging time of social isolation. Access to adaptive equipment is critical to helping athletes stay active. And it can be a big barrier to participating as the average piece of equipment costs over $3,000. As of last week, we've loaned out over 40 pieces of equipment so far this season, including adaptive bikes, hand cycles, and sport wheelchairs, all at no charge to our athletes. So far, we have had more than 840 individuals participate in 38 different virtual activities. We could not do any of this without this, our supportive community. I am delighted now to introduce to you another one of our amazing athletes, Elliot Love. Welcome, Elliot. Thank you, Megan. 
For some quick information about me, I live in the South Metro with my service dog, Nellie, and my elderly rabbit, Jeffrey. I have two master's degrees, but I'm currently not working due to my health. Up until 2018, I had no idea Courage Cunny existed, but thanks to a chance sighting on Instagram about a friend taking an adaptive rock climbing class, I signed up for the last spot on a whim. That chance encounter has led to me participating in multiple adaptive sports, and I'm excited to share how those experiences have had an amazing impact on my life. Throughout my life, I've had symptoms including joint and muscle pain, dizziness, nausea, and severe hives, but these symptoms started to get worse during grad school in Philadelphia. After I moved home, my health continued to rapidly deteriorate. I finally received three different diagnoses. My doctors recommended staying active, but my symptoms continued to progress. Ultimately, the activities I enjoyed, such as hiking, biking, circus arts, and fencing, became too hard on my body. Because of my allergic reactions to seemingly everything, I spent most of my time alone at home, watching as my friends continued to participate in my favorite activities. Losing outlets for social socialization and not being able to be active was devastating. Now I had crutches, braces, and a wheelchair and was dealing with feeling isolated. When I signed up for rock climbing, I had no idea if I would be able to do it, but I was desperate for some sort of physical activity. Even though climbing wasn't easy for me, it was fun and a sport I could do in a safe and supportive setting. At that point in my life, I was living in a house that was not accessible, using two to three EpiPens a week, and taking enough Benadryl to knock out an elephant. Climbing gave me something to look forward to and to challenge myself with. I could see my skills improve every week. This one class led me to try cycling and wheelchair tennis. The volunteers kept encouraging me to try downhill skiing, so I reluctantly signed up. I started in the basic by ski, and by the end of the first night, I was told I needed a challenge. By the end of my first season, I was skiing tethered, but with minimal assistance in a more advanced ski. This year, I moved to a mono ski, and by March, was skiing some slopes independently. Skiing is now the highlight of my life. This summer, I've been participating in the virtual activities. Although I would prefer to be outside with everyone, I'm grateful Courage Kenny has found ways to keep people active and engaged. My first Courage Kenny adaptive climbing class literally rocked my world. But it's not only climbing that has rocked my world, but so have all the other activities. I never imagined one rock climbing class would lead me to scaling tall walls, biking for the first time in years, and independently skiing. I've had multiple friends remark on how my confidence has improved and that I'm happier. Now I know I can do hard things and I'm encouraged to try new activities. I've met new people and made new friends and it doesn't matter if I'm in a wheelchair or not, I feel normal. Courage Kenny has shown me that I am an athlete. Thank you for listening to my story and thank you for your support. Thanks so much, Elliot, for sharing your story. Now let's hear from two more athletes, Amy and Lucas. Back in 2018, I had a pretty bad MS relapse and um, I ended up getting very ill. When I was at Courage Kenny Rehabilitation, they had different people coming in that were talking about the sports and rec information. And they were asking me, you know, what kind of things do you like to do? And I said, well, you know, before I was diagnosed, I would ski with my kids. And when I found out that they actually do have accessible skiing, adaptive skiing, and I said, sign me up, I want to do this. That first initial push off was scary because I wasn't sure of myself. But once I started going, it felt so invigorating. I felt alive. I could feel the wind on my face, and it was the most joyous feeling I had felt in a very, very long time. And then I get to ride up with some cool, fun guys up the chairlift, and we get to do it again. Being part of the Adaptive Sports and Rec program has been amazing. It gave me so much motivation to keep trying harder and pushing myself more to do other things as well. A really big goal of mine was to drive again. It wasn't safe for me to drive with my feet anymore. So I found out that they do the lessons right at Courage Kenny in Golden Valley. And so I got signed up for those in October and I 
passed my test in November and I got myself a van and now I can go anywhere I need to go. My world has opened up a little bit these last couple of years and Courage Kenny has a whole lot to do with that. Lucas was born with spina bifida and he started the basketball program when he was five. Whenever we uh, bring up a new activity for him to try, he always agrees to do it and usually ends up loving them all. When we ask him what are, what are your favorite activities, he can't pick one. I started skiing like five years ago, so I'm really good now. I'm working on carving turns. Feels like I'm going fast and it feels like I'm free. He lives and breathes basketball. I like being competitive, I like winning, and I like having fun. Lucas knows when he goes to basketball practice that his coaches, you know, AJ and Emily and the other volunteers just want him to succeed. I also love that Courage County, the program doesn't deny anybody. It's like everyone can participate. And if cost is a barrier, it, it isn't. <laughs> It isn't with the Sports and Rec Department. Everyone can participate. I think the Sports and Rec Department through Courage County really gives us as a family an opportunity to see our child who doesn't walk and is in a wheelchair have all of these wonderful opportunities. And so when you find a place like Courage County Sports and Rec and you see the opportunities that your child has, it's like every person's, every parent's dream and hope for them. Amy, Lucas, thanks so much to both of you. As Megan mentioned earlier, Celebration of Courage is sports and recreation's largest fundraiser of the year. Without the generous support of our community, Courage Kenny's adaptive activities wouldn't exist. The main source of support for these activities is charitable contributions. During this especially challenging time, all activities and equipment are being provided at no charge. To give you a sense of some of the costs, on average, a piece of adaptive equipment loaned out by Courage Kenny costs more than $3,000. $3,000, Megan. Your support today will help make it possible for us to continue offering programming to keep individuals with disabilities active, healthy, and socially connected virtually for now and in person when it becomes safe to do so. Thank you so much for supporting our programs and activities that allow our athletes to stay healthy, connected. Making your gift today is easy. One option for donating is to text give to courage to the number 41444. You will then automatically receive a text message with the link to donate. If you are viewing the program on our Celebration of Courage website, you can also make a gift by clicking the donate button. Your support in helping us raise at least $100,000 through this year's event is so important. Gifts of all sizes are of course appreciated. Thank you for giving as generously as you're able. On behalf of the entire Courage Kenny Sports and Recreation community of athletes, volunteers, and staff, we're so grateful for your support. As we've noted, our sports and rec activities would not be possible without generous supporters like you. And we couldn't do what we do without our amazing volunteers. In 2019, more than 1,300 sports and rec volunteers contribute over 27,000 hours. Last year, Susan Hodder, who's been a volunteer for over 25 years, was honored with the inaugural Susan Hodder Distinguished Volunteer Award. Here is Susan to make the award presentation to the recipient of the 2020 Susan Hutter Distinguished Volunteer Recognition Award. Thank you, Megan. I am so glad to be here today and proud to be presenting this award to Brad Blanchin. He is the volunteer role model that we all strive to be. He is a loyal, fun, patient, and empathetic volunteer. He's been volunteering 30 years and has contributed more than 5,000 hours. I mean, that's amazing. And he does all this through the alpine ski and snowboard, water skiing, wheelchair basketball, adaptive cycling, wheelchair rugby, and the mono ski camp up in Duluth. Brad, you have given so much of yourself to Courage Kenny, and you share that quality of commitment with your family and friends as well. And in doing it with so much love, you are a blessing. Thank you, Brad. Congratulations. Congratulations, Brad. Huge congratulations, Brad. Volunteers are so essential to what we do, so we are so grateful to you. 
Now I'd like to welcome Blake Eaton, an accomplished athlete who's been involved with Courage Kenny Sports and Rec for many, many years. Great to see you and thanks for joining us, Blake. Why don't you um, just start off by telling us a little bit about yourself for those who might not know you already. Well, thanks. I'm glad to be here. Um, well, I live up in Proctor, Minnesota, which is right near Duluth, right near the tip of the lake. I live here with my family. So I've got two older brothers, one little brother, my mom, my dad, and our dog. Um, I'll be going in, uh, I'll be a junior next year in our local high school, Denfell, Denfell High School, where I uh, do track. And I also, this past year, started managing the boys' soccer team. Well, I hear you've been involved with the Courage Kenny program for quite a while. That's right, right? Yeah. So when I was about three or four, um, the Northland program, specifically more Eric, one of the coordinators up here, was I uh, kept bugging my parents on to let me try something. They allowed me to uh, go down in a bi-ski, which is, was really fun for me. I really started to enjoy it and love it because, one, I got to go fast and be part of different people and different things and do something like my, my, most of my family does ski, so I've been able to do that. And I've been skiing ever since. Um, when I was about seven or eight, another uh, coordinator said, you should try mono skiing. I was like, what is that? So then she explained it. And, like, and then she explained it to me. I thought that would be interesting, but I don't know if I'd be able to do it. So then I tried it. And so I did not do well at all. I, did not, I wanted to give up on it. But then the next year, they introduced me to this model camp where the, all levels up here in Duluth. And so then I went to the camp for three days. And on the last day, I was able to move from the Bunny Hill to the um, easiest big hill, which was really big accomplishment for me. And uh, one of the uh, volunteers there stayed with me on the Bunny Hill for, like the whole two days and taught me how to do the mono scheme. Well, that's great. Everybody starts on the Bunny Hill. I'm glad you didn't give up. What other yeah. Courage Kenny sports programs have you been involved with? Well, I've done water skiing. I've done biking. I've done um, rowing. I've done Power soccer, I've done archery. Um, a couple years ago, I started the wheelchair softball. I've done rock climbing, and I've also done scuba diving. So there's nothing you don't do, it sounds like. How have you been staying active with Sports and Rec this spring and summer during this time of social distancing and, and with in-person activities being canceled? It's been hard, but um, we, I started to do, um, I first did a virtual meeting just to say hello and like, we all just kind of talked and just see how everything was going and how we could do this together. And then a couple of weeks ago, I started doing the uh, virtual online biking. So we each just basically have a Zoom meeting and we all just ride on our bikes, either outside or on a trainer. And then a week or two ago, I started doing some virtual online workouts, which was good for me to do and keep myself in shape more. Yeah, sports are so important to keep us all really active and to show us that we can do it, right? Um, how would you describe the opportunities and experiences you've had through the Sports and Rec program? Well, they've allowed me to have many great opportunities. Like one time in 2016, uh, me, my dad, and my two little brothers went to Montana where we stayed out there in Big Sky, Montana for four or five days. And they allowed me to bring their and use their model ski that I've been using from all the way from here and allowed us to take it out there so I could go out west and ski with my friends and my family because I had a adaptive PE teacher, former adaptive PE teacher, where she'd live out there. And so we all stayed in there. And we all skied. And then also I've been to a couple of cool places. Like I went to Breckenridge, Colorado the past couple of years for a race camp, which has been really cool. I met some really cool people. I've been able to ski with some Paralympians even. And they just give me like self-confidence. Um, also, I've been able, they uh, had allowed me to use and slash borrow their uh, track chair. So I've been using that for the past five years. Last year, I did it my first year in high school when I was lucky enough to uh, even go to state. And um, there I, I set one state record in the 200 meter dash. I won first in the 100 meter dash and I, just came in second in the 800 meter. So it seems like you're really passionate about skiing. I can tell when I hear you talk about it. Can you tell us more about your goals moving forward? Well, I'd say my ultimate goal would be one day probably be a Paralympian in it, if I'd ever be lucky enough. 
but it'd be really cool just to be able to do it in college maybe for scholarship. Also just be able to do it even when I'm getting older so I could stick with it and hone in my craft and also race maybe nationally, internationally and do some cool events, go to cool places. Courage has allowed me to give you that chance and help me find people that can help me and also find places that would be really cool and help me develop my skills. Yeah, you know, a lot of people would look at people like you and me and think, well, they can't, they can't do it. You know, they're not able-bodied, but you are proving that we can do anything. So I've really enjoyed our conversation. And in closing, are there any final words you would like to share with our guests today? Well, I'd like to thank you. And I'd also like to thank all the people that help Courage Run, all the volunteers, all the staff, and all the donors that allow the program to keep running and continuing to allow people like me and all the other individuals, um, I guess, do our dreams. Yeah, keep dreaming, th Blake. Thank you so much for participating today. Now, Thank as you. we mentioned earlier, the Minnesota Twins Baseball Club and Courage Kenny have a long-standing partnership that began in 1967. Here to say a few words on behalf of Minnesota Twins Baseball Club is President Dave St. Peter. Thank you, Courtney. We miss not hosting the celebration of Courage at Target Field, but the Twins organization looks forward to welcoming you all back in 2021. And we miss not having our stands filled with fans, especially after such an exciting 2019 season, culminating in the American League Central Division title. As Courtney mentioned, our longstanding relationship with Courage Kenny goes back 53 years. Our involvement includes supporting Courage Kenny's wheelchair softball teams, the Rolling Twins, and the Junior Rolling Twins. Last year, the Adult Rolling Twins won the Wheelchair Softball World Series Championship against the Chicago Hawks, and they were featured on local and national news. For years, the Rolling Twins have played in the Wheelchair Softball World Series Championship game. The goal to uh, bring that trophy back to uh, Minnesota. Yeah, this time, they did, winning their first World Series since 2014. It finally feels good to uh, come all the way through and win. One thing that we would say in the team huddle before the games was, who's got my back? We got your back. We all have each other's backs. Oh God, oh the team me. played six games in Kansas City, even making Sports Center as a top play. Thank you for being part of this year's virtual celebration of courage. On behalf of the Twins organization, Thank you for supporting sports and rec programming for individuals with disabilities. We look forward to welcoming you back to the ballpark as soon as possible. Win Twins. Thanks, Dave. And to you and the entire Twins organization, thank you for your continued partnership. And on behalf of all of our athletes, volunteers, and staff, a huge thanks to all of you for being a part of making our programming possible today and into the future. If you haven't yet had a chance to make your contribution, there's still time. Please take a moment and do so right now. And please invite your friends and colleagues who weren't able to tune in today to visit the Celebration of Courage website to donate. We truly cannot thank you enough for joining us and supporting our sports and rec community. As we conclude our program, here's a message from some of our athletes. Thank you. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you to everybody because we wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. What? How would I be able to do this if I didn't have the support of the Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports Program? I just, it wouldn't be available. Thank you. Thank you for everything uh, that your organization has brought along with the coaches, staff, again, the volunteers. And I look forward to continuing this program for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, a lot of fun and I've had a blast doing each, during each program. I love basketball at Courage Kenny. Because it's awesome. Keep up the good work, guys!
thank you for your encouragement. Thank you to everybody because we wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. What? How would I be able to do this if I didn't have the support of the Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports Program? I just, it wouldn't be available. Thank you. Thank you for everything uh, that your organization has brought along with coaches, staff, again, the volunteers. And I look forward to continuing this program for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun and I've had a blast doing each, during each program. I love basketball at Courage Kenny. Because it's awesome. Keep up the good work, guys! encouragement thank you to everybody because we wouldn't be able to do this otherwise what how would I be able to do this if I didn't have the support of the Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports Program I just it wouldn't be available thank you thank you for everything uh, that your organization has brought along with the coaches staff again the volunteers and I look forward to continuing this program for many years to come Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun and I've had a blast doing each, during each program. I love basketball at Courage Kenny because it's awesome. Keep up the good work, guys.
Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you to everybody because we wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. What? How would I be able to do this if I didn't have the support of the Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports Program? I just, it wouldn't be available. Thank you. Thank you for everything uh, that your organization has brought along with the coaches, staff, again, the volunteers. And I look forward to continuing this program for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun and I've had a blast doing each, during each program. I love basketball at Courage Kenny. Because it's awesome. Keep up the good work, guys! encouragement thank you to everybody because we wouldn't be able to do this otherwise what how would I be able to do this if I didn't have the support of the Courage Kenny Adaptive Sports Program I just it wouldn't be available thank you thank you for everything uh, that your organization has brought along with the coaches staff again the volunteers and I look forward to continuing this program for many years to come Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun and I've had a blast doing each, during each program. I love basketball at Courage Kenny. Because it's awesome. Keep up the good work, guys! <laughs>